Hello. In this video, I'm going to continue my discussion of amines and basicity, focusing on heterocycles. Uh, and a heterocycle is a word generally for an aromatic compound with a heteroatom, so usually nitrogen, but others are appropriate in the aromatic ring. And so, for example, here, this is pyridine. And I want to compare pyridine to the closest uh, alicyclic, aliphatic amine, which is cyclohexylamine. And both cyclohexylamine and pyridine have uh, delocalized lone pairs, uh, but they are different molecules. Pyridine has a pKb of 8.7. And I shared in an earlier video that piperidine, had, or yeah, this isn't cyclohexylamine, sorry. This is piperidine. The piperidine, the fully saturated version, has a pKb of 2.8. So piperidine is significantly more basic. And in general, uh, heterocycles are a little bit less basic than their uh, fully saturated uh, you know, analogs. And for whatever that reason might be. And, it, and it's sort of interesting, even though, because if you protonate pyridine, the, the cation itself is resonance stabilized. But, you know, perhaps... You know, the argument is that despite being resonance stabilized and this, the other cation being not resonance stabilized. Uh, so, you know, here's a, another, this is another resonance contributor for, pip, for, for the conjugate, yeah, conjugate acid of pyridine. It looks like it's starting to disrupt the aromatic system, and so this resonance contribution might not actually be as good as you would think it is. Right. Disrupts aromaticity? Question mark? Because I'm not 100% sure that that's the, the full cause. Uh, but I do know that piperidine is influenced by some of the same things that influence the. Uh, basicity of aniline. And so here is a commonly used organic-based NN dimethyl aminopyridine, also abbreviated DMAP. Uh, DMAP has a peak as a PKB uh, of 4.4, um, which is makes it sort of equivalently basic to, to ammonia. Um, And, and less basic than piperidine, it's still more basic than pyridine. Now let's go down to pyrrole. And pyrrole is that uh, five-membered ring heterocycle. So let's, let's plop it down here. Right. And looking at the structure of pyrrole, if you can identify that this... Uh, lone pair is delocalized, and you would already expect parole to be significantly less uh, basic than piperidine, and, and the conjugate acid, or let's say, and the, the PKB of parole is, oh, 13.6. Parole is an extremely weak base. You know, it's about as basic as water. Okay. And part of the reason why it is so such a weak base is that it's conjugate acid, let's draw it, has a very interesting problem to it. Uh, if it uses the lone pairs that their you know, conjugate acid is now not aromatic. So we have, in fact, disrupted aromaticity, and that's bad. You know, by comparison, 
pyrrolidine, the fully saturated version, has PKB of you know, three point two. I'm sorry, two point seven. So fairly similar to tipiridine. Do one more here. Midazole. Right. And midazole is looks is like pyrrole, but it has an extra nitrogen atom on it. And so in the last video, I shared uh, the amidine. This is actually similar to the amidine case. And when imidazole picks up a proton, it picks it up at the delocalized spot, not the localized spot. I'm sorry, the localized spot, not the delocalized spot. And so the conjugate base or the conjugate acid of imidazole looks like this, and this cation is resonance structure stabilized between the two nitrogens primarily, uh, though there there is also a carbocation in re resonance structure with positive charge there. Um, imidazole is more basic than pyrrole, and that shouldn't be surprising because it has uh, an extra nitrogen and it's delocalized. And, and the PK, I'm sorry, PKB, the PKA of imidazole is around seven. Uh, and so that makes it much more basic than parole by like six PKB units. Um, and, you know, where pyridine is, there isn't really a good example for pyridine, but it is set six PKA units more basic here. Just like, uh, maybe just like other amidines are about six PKB units more basic, six, seven, eight PKB units more basic than other aliphatic amines. Uh, and so imidazole is another commonly occurring biological base. It, it's the uh, side chain on the histidine amino acid. So this wraps up my video on heterocyclic amines and generally what you what I've discussed here can be generalized to a wide range of heterocyclic amines and there are a whole bunch of these things out there uh, common in a lot of biological molecules. In the next video uh, I want to wrap up my discussion of basicity and talk about the uh, hybridization of the nitrogen uh, and its role on the the basicity of that compound. Thank you for watching.